All right, Mr. Teleferro TV, how's everybody doing? I said I'd come back with more details on a few things revolving around Kodak Black being arrested yesterday. Um, while he was on Instagram Live, actually, he got arrested, his home got raided, and Kodak had recently bought a home, and, and yes, I found out he's technically on house arrest. It's some different kind of variation. He has something worked out with the judge who gave him another chance early last year. And um, Kodak has probably floundered that opportunity to at, at his last chance to just be free 2018, maybe even 2019. I'm not sure if he'll get out in the next couple of years. Kodak Black was booked for seven charges yesterday, including drug possession, child neglect, grand theft of a firearm. I do have more details on just what exactly happened. Y'all gonna think I'm crazy, but I'm telling y'all the truth. What happened was somebody watched one of kodak black's instagram live streams and noticed that his son was around a significant amount of weed and one of the blunts was lit and and also his son was around a gun they said kodak did nothing to make sure the kid didn't touch the blunt or the gun that sh that made someone call the police and say, yo, this is what I seen on Instagram Live. I don't know if I believe that. That could very well just be the feds watching Kodak's Instagram Live. Or that could be a made up story altogether, right? I would need to see some video proof of that. But nevertheless, if the video does exist, Kodak put himself in this situation. He put himself in that. So let's go on further down. That, that's a child neglect, right? That's the child neglect portion of it. And they also found about 95 grams of weed in his in his bedroom closet. That's the weed part of it. And the weapons part of it, I want to give y'all all facts. They found in his safe uh, a loaded Glock with nine, nine rounds. And then they found a Beretta handgun. The Beretta was stolen, reported stolen in December. That's the grand theft charge. So just to clear up all the charges, that's what we have here. Now, with the stolen weapons, that's uncalled for. I, I believe this is how the team should rock. Kodak, you got guys around you, right? And maybe Kodak has less guys around him than I thought he did. But somebody else got to have that gun in their name, bro. Somebody, I don't care what way you, you can't have a stolen weapon and you got Kodak Black type money. Somebody else got to have that gun in their name, bro. One of your people's on your team, or if it's stolen, one of the people's on your team's got to, it's got to be some way you put that gun in one of your team's, people in your team's name. That's what they're paid to do to protect you. Anything happen, they got. I'm just gonna be honest with y'all. They got to take the charge for that. Somebody got to be put in a position where that does not come back to Kodak Black. Cause now it looks like he stole a weapon. We don't know what that, what in crimes that gun was involved in. This could get uglier for Kodak. Um, I'll tell you this: he was denied a bail this morning. That's not good. Usually, when you're denied a bail, it's like, yo, we're tired of you, my Nick. We keep giving you a bail. You don't know what to do with your freedom, so we're just going to stop giving you the opportunity of having some freedom. All right, now now Kodak's dealing with a lot of probation violations as well, and it looks like he won't be getting out anytime soon. That is the reality of the situation. Seven new felony charges have been added to this young brother's rap sheet who's only 20 years old. On top of the cases that he's already fighting in Carolina, which is like a sexual misconduct, very huge He's also Kodak's going through a lot of he uh, he did, he's had a lot of no shows to some venues, so a lot of promoters are suing him right now. Here's what's going to happen to Kodak. He's probably going to do the whole 2018 in, in, in prison, right? He might do 2019 in prison. I'm not sure. I don't want that on the brother, but the brother has to figure some things out in his life. And whenever he gets out, and let's make it clear, we always rooting for our young black kings and queens to get out and figure this thing out, especially for non-violent crimes. Kodak doesn't have any violent crimes that was charged with yesterday. Now, the sexual uh, uh, misconduct, you look, if he did that, throw him under the jail. That's just my opinion. But if, 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 if with the stuff that happened yesterday, he didn't af affect anyone's life, right? He didn't, uh, to the best of our knowledge, outside of his kid, he didn't affect anyone else's life. He didn't criminally attack anyone or mess with anybody so if he can find a way to get out here's what's going to happen kodak is going to be dealing with so many financial woes this is going to catch up with him because really all of kodak's money right now is either a features or b 
because of uh record sales right and he's not just dropping projects he's releasing a lot of his music for free on soundcloud hot new hip-hop's getting a hold of a lot of his stuff for free so he's not putting out this music commercially he's doing a lot of it just on some platforms he's not getting the entire bag that he could be getting he's getting like the youtube checks and all that he's not doing shows which is the bulk of rappers money in, in Kodak's place, space right now at his age he should be in the clubs night to night getting the bag he can't do the clubs because he messed up that bag because he's on house arrest right now or some variation of house arrest so what's going to happen is legally there's going to be stuff that comes up to him and these promoters are going to want their money they're going to sue him and and the judge is going to be like yo we might be able to work out some civil suit in a couple cases but here's the thing you got to be able to pay up that that chick she's probably gonna want a bag you know and, and rather than to lock kodak up but if he doesn't have the bag he's not going to be able to even make a civil suit so he's probably going to end up doing that's when the real time that's when you talking about kodak being able to maybe able to do five to ten years so he's messing himself up for all these are self-inflicted wounds all of it say what you want people have to help be held accountable self-inflicted wound after self-inflicted wound from somebody who i personally believe is one of the top five rappers under 25 just keeps getting in his own way can't figure it out and i think he needs a better team around that is me personally i think he needs to be more involved with the label i just think he needs uh, an entire new team around him because the team that he got right now these these guys can't be they can't be keeping it a stack with Kodak right now. It's, it's just too much stupid stuff happening. And he's the one doing all the time for it. We don't hear enough about people around him doing time for the stuff that he's involved in. And the whole Instagram live thing, yo, you, it's got to be tough being Kodak because he wants to. I believe he's on Instagram live to talk to his fans. I believe rappers want to. A, be loved by their fans because there's a genuine love right there. You know what I mean? And also be, you know, to be gassed up by the fans a little bit too. You know, feel like the man. Say, you know, a lot of chicks say they love you. Real dudes say they rock with you. Here's the thing. Kodak's only getting that love from Instagram Live right now. He ain't doing shows. You know what I mean? Or, uh, any other rappers getting that love at the shows. You don't got to be on. Kodak's on Instagram Live a lot. Right? With no goal. He ain't promoting music. He's just on there talking. Right? that's because he ain't getting that love at the shows because he can't do shows like that he's did maybe three shows in the last six to seven months that's i did some research i've counted three shows that ain't good that ain't that ain't good all right mr teleferro tv those are the updates for you an instagram live got kodak black locked up and and, and tmz is reporting that a fan called it in we will see I still have my suspicions about that, but I can't really go too deep in it because, again, Kodak Black put himself in a situation, and if he did have his youngin' around guns and weed, you know, look, we can't judge a brother. Whatever he does in the confines of his home, that that's on him. I can't tell you somebody how to raise their kid. That's not my job here. But when you bring it to a social platform, and people need to stop acting like feds and snitches don't exist on social media i don't know why people think when they hop on the internet you just go into a different world where real things don't exist there you can get caught up in all this you don't this is not a fantasy island when you walk into social media this is the real world nowadays and if kodak put himself in jeopardy like that by having his kid in that in that spot around that type of stuff and and you put it on the internet in front of thousands of people that is kodak black's l that is his mistake and he has to learn from that. Not the fans, not the media. That's on Kodak. Mr. Teleferro TV, unfortunate. Unfortunate is an understatement for this brother. All the talent in the world. We'll see when he gets out. Thank y'all for the time, love, support. If any update comes, I'll, I'll definitely get it to you guys. Y'all be sure to check me out either Monday or Tuesday. I'm coming all new platform. I'm coming NBA content heavy. I've been wanting to do this and live out my dreams. And I think I got something that's going to push my platform through the roof on the way. And I'm out. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. Right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yo!